My name is Sandra Kwabia Sakwa. I work with SEN Ghana, a research and policy advocacy organization working in the areas of agriculture, health, education, social protection, and other sectors. Ghana's cocoa sector, the major crop exporter representing nearly 40% of total export, is already battling through the current global pandemic. Ghana's cocoa sector is, is already witnessing a fall in export deals as Europe, its major trading partner, succumbed to lockdowns in the quest to fight the pandemic. The price of cocoa has tumbled, I must say, as indicated by the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Cocoa Board in an interview that COVID-19 immediately brings to Ghana a deficit of almost 1 billion US dollar should the pandemic continue. He attested that paying cocoa farmers will be difficult, but also this will affect the country as the cocoa sector has a direct bearing on, on Ghana's economy. Just recently, Ghana entered a three-week lockdown, which saw the need for support to many vulnerable groups. Both government and non-governmental bodies, such as NGOs, chocolates, uh, companies, pharma, cooperatives, and religious bodies, and among others, have provided some farmers with personal um, protective equipment in order to observe outlined protocols. However, Farmers are yet to receive economic support and um, some social safety nets that would cushion them in this crisis, as farmers are paying twice the prices of goods and services. I must say that currently, one major concern of, of cocoa farmers is that um, their incomes must not be affected by the pandemic due to the fall in international market price and therefore are calling on industry players to act swiftly by putting in supportive measures.